By the middle of the week, much of the Midwest will experience very heavy snowfall from this next storm system moving through, where some areas could experience 6 to 12 inches of snow. And going into next week, we have the possibility of another major Midwest snowstorm that could also bring some impacts to the Northeast, where potentially the more coastal areas of the Northeast could maybe get involved with this snowstorm next week. If we were to take a look at the latest depiction of the GFS model, at this time, we do you see that as right now we have a big ridge that's centered right around the eastern half of the United States at this time and a low pressure system is expected to move in by tomorrow by the midday tomorrow where we will see a large amount of convection going on in the midsection of the country however the temperatures will be just warm enough for most of the Midwest to experience a rain event at least from this uh, first low pressure system if we were to continue to move forward however this this trough will continue to move northward and eventually interact with the cooler air mass that's just to the north of this trough and that will allow precipitation to fall in the form of snowfall in portions of minnesota and the dakotas where you could experience anywhere from one to three to three to six inches in those areas so approaching the wednesday morning time frame you need to pay close attention to the potential of heavier snowfall associated from this storm system and moving forward we do see the area of snow does become very well consolidated we do see a fairly large area of snow associated from this first trough that's expected to move northward and we're seeing the millibar pressure drop down to 987 millibars so it's quite a form formidable low pressure system so it will dump snow that's heavy at times so for your morning um for, so for your wednesday morning commute you need to watch out for the potential of dangerous throw conditions as you travel during um the wednesday time frame and moving forward we will see the low pressure system eventually move to the northeast and move out of the united states but that won't be it when it comes to snowstorms moving into the midwest because we have this this second storm system that's gonna approach the four corner states by the tuesday time frame and we do see that behind this trough the there's a uh, pl plenty of cold air a lot more cold air than this first trough so as though we're pretty much seeing entirely a snow event initially from this first storm system and this is expected to impact the areas further southward in the midwest where a large portion of kansas nebraska iowa and even the extreme northern portions of missouri could get involved with heavy snowfall where we do see the middle of our pressure begin to drop as the storm system continues to head further northeastward there's a highly unstable environment that's um, located right over the midsection of the country where we do see a very powerful ridge that's bringing a strong southerly flow that's pushing that moisture towards the uh, center of circulation and we're seeing plenty of cold air behind this low pressure system that's creating that unstable environment that's forcing a lot of lift to occur for an, an enhanced amount of convection to occur so as a result we're seeing heavy snowfall associated from the storm system as well as heavy rainfall on the southern side of this storm system so you could expect anywhere from three to six to potentially six to twelve inches of snow associated with this storm system and the certain is very high at this point both of the two main computer models are still in very high agreement regarding the exact trajectory and the exact snowfall accumulation forecast for this storm system so you need to prepare if you're in the line of fire when it comes to snowfall accumulation as this low pressure system continues ahead further northeastward and continuing to move forward with the forecast um you're gonna see that the snow will eventually move into wisconsin by the midday on thursday where winds where milwaukee could get involved with snowfall that's very heavy at times we do see the darker shades of blue which represents very heavy snowfall rates and that could definitely cause a lot of havoc on the road so you want to pay very close attention to that as we approach a thursday time frame and for chicago you still might experience snow on the back side but it will be more of a rain event than a snow event at this time as it seems pretty certain at this point you won't experience the worst
worst of the snowstorm, but you could still experience some snowfall on the back side where maybe you could get an inch of snow or less in the Chicago area as it seems like there's might be just enough cold air on the back side to support precipitation to fall in the form of snowfall but but just north of Chicago that's where the heaviest snow will be and moving forward into um, as we approach later on Thursday northern Michigan gets involved with the heavy snowfall before it eventually moves north of the United States Canadian border and it will primarily be a rain event for much of the northeast once again as again this, this persistent rain isn't really moving so we're still gonna see those very warm temperatures temperatures well above average for this week and potentially going into next week as well as this ridge just isn't budging to move out of the east coast of the United States so you should at least for the near future expect much warmer than average conditions for most of the east coast thanks to this ridge now moving beyond this storm system that's expected to impact you guys with a high level of certainty at this point um, we do see that there's going to be quite a bit of cold air moving just to the back side of this low pressure system so temperatures should fall back down to earth as we approach a weekend for much of the great lakes but continuing to move forward we will begin to see things become a little bit more active as we move into next week we will have a small clipper system that's gonna move into the northern portions of the midwest bringing some snow showers however we eventually do see that this clipper system will will develop and we'll see a low pressure system develop out of this instability and this will be key because depending on how strong this initial low pressure system is that will determine where exactly the rain snow line will be for this next low pressure system because if this low pressure system ends up being a little bit stronger then we would see more of a northerly push that would push the cooler air for a southward so in a lot of areas that haven't received much snowfall this winter that could be your opportunity to experience snowfall if we were to see this um, center of circulation become a little bit more consolidated and a little bit more powerful to bring those northerly winds further southward and at this point it seems like the gfs model is expecting a significant snowstorm to impact not only the midwest but the northeast where we do see very heavy snowfall in the chicago area as this would easily be a very significant snowstorm potentially close to a foot in the chicago area and even into iowa des moines could get involved with heavy snowfall and we do see that there's heavy snowfall even approaching some of the interstate 95 corridor cities where philadelphia and new york city would get involved with accumulating snowfall since the gfs model does expect that this low pressure system will become powerful enough to bring just enough of a strong northerly flow to bring that cool air for a southward air um which is a temperature that's cold enough to support for precipitation of fall in the form of snowfall however looking at the forecast hour this is going almost 200 hours out so there's still a lot of time to really iron out the forecast we're still approximately seven to eight days out from this event actually occurring or around more like eight to nine days out from this event approaching the northeast so there's still a lot of time to iron out the forecast however the european model does also agree that this same low pressure system will eventually develop into a significant snowstorm so that does raise certainty that at least somewhere in the united states at least with this low pressure system you will experience a significant snowstorm um at um whether it's in the midwest or the northeast but it's really it's going to be really difficult to really iron out where exactly the heaviest snow will fall because of course we're very far out but it, it's becoming increasingly likely that we will at least see some snow associated with the slow pressure system by next week the gfs model wants to bring the snow for a southward where this would be a much more significant event while the european model takes a different approach and mainly brings the heaviest snowfall to the interior northeast and even if we were to look to in the boston era you guys are experiencing a full-fledged major snowstorm where you'd experience over a foot of snow in this scenario so this is definitely something to keep in mind into next weekend this could be your next possibility for snow in the northeast but definitely don't hold your breath on it either because the european model which has been the more reliable model this winter isn't exactly leaning towards that scenario let me show you guys that scenario right now 
Taking a look at the European models forecast when it comes to the next few snowstorms moving through the Midwest, of course, for this first snowstorm, very similar to what the GFS model is stating at this time, the certainty is very high. We're going to see just enough of a of a southerly flow to push this low pressure zone further northward to primarily bring a rain event for much of the Midwest with the exception with the exceptions of the Dakotas and the northern portions of Minnesota as it seems like this ridge will be just far to east enough to force this low pressure zone further northward to bring up the temperatures to make the temperatures a little bit warmer and then moving forward we do see that with this second low pressure system, it's very similar again to what the GFS model is stating, but the European model is leaning towards a little bit of a weaker scenario with this low pressure system, but still brings a heavy amount of snowfall um, anywhere between three to six inches in most places in the Midwest as this storm really intensifies as it approaches um, the northern mid the northern Great Lakes region where we do see heavy snowfall in Michigan and in the Milwaukee area. So very similar forecast. Certainty is very high for these next two snowstorms in the Midwest. So if you're in the line of fire, like I said, you need to prepare as if you're gonna experience that um that um, um that range of snowfall accumulation. But moving forward beyond those two snowstorms, that's where we see a pretty significant difference between the scenarios of the two computer models because moving forward we do see that while a clipper system does move into the northeast and does strengthen a little bit as it approaches northeast we do see that it's far weaker than what the gfs model is stating at this time so as a result there isn't as strong of a northerly flow that's going to force the cooler temperatures for southward so we see the snowfall mainly impact the areas a little bit further northward in the european model scenario however it's good to point out also that the european model at least for this this low pressure system that's expected to become our next major snowstorm next week it does expect uh um, just enough instability or a similar amount of instability for this low pressure system to become a significant winter storm. So that's one area where the uh, computer models are in high agreement regarding the strength of regarding the forecast of this next snowstorm but again there's still pretty big differences regarding the track forecast because we do see the european model still does bring heavy snowfall to many areas in chicago and in fact does bring heavier snowfall into kansas northern missouri um and even into portions of oklahoma a little bit more than what the gfs model is forecasting in those same areas what we do see again this will be entirely a rain event for much of the interstate 95 corridor cities so this is definitely something we're gonna need to pay close attention to really all depends on how strong northerly winds will be the the european model is expecting a weaker clipper system so we're seeing less cold air move for us outward and the ridge is a little bit stronger in the european model scenario that's forcing the southerly winds to take hold of northeast and bring and raise those temperatures all throughout the coastal northeast so of course the chance of snow definitely diminishes if the european model um, scenario was a little bit more correct than the g that than the gfs model so we're gonna have to wait and see the european model been the more reliable model this winter but again we can't completely disregard the gfs model either so we're gonna pay close attention to any changes between these two computer models over the next several days this is what the GFS model is forecasting when it comes to snowfall over the next nine days. And we do see that much of the Midwest would experience a very hectic week or two of heavy snowfall where we do see Chicago would experience over a foot of snow from these next few snowstorms. More simply, the, the second snowstorm that's going to approach next week, which should bring more snowfall the most snowfall to you guys compared to the next two snowstorms in the midwest and then we do see that over a foot of snow in iowa and then we do see a large area of northeast and new england experience 6 to 12 inches of snow and even over a foot of snow in boston so this would certainly be a very significant snowstorm for millions of americans impacting a large population of the united states um, but the european model is showing a different scenario the European model, as you can see, is 
uh, taking the heavier snowfall off for northward and it expects a lot less snowfall than the GFS model because while the GFS model wants to take many areas experiencing over a foot of snow we do see that the European model is a little bit more conservative taking uh, at most around 6 to 12 inches of snow from next week's snowstorm so we're definitely gonna need to pay close attention to how the forecast changes the snow of course is it impacting any of the interstate 95 corridor cities but still brings heavy snowfall to Chicago the interior northeast and a large portion of the Great Lakes region as well so this is definitely something we're gonna need to pay close attention to so this is my forecast regarding the next two winter storms that are expected to impact the Midwest this week. And of course, the next major, uh, next potential major winter storm that could impact the Midwest and Northeast next week. We do see that I'm expecting 6 to 12 inches of snow over a large portion of Iowa, Illinois, Wisconsin as we approach the Thursday time frame once this snowstorm really gets going. So you want to pay very close attention to that throughout the Midwest. A large area of these 6 inches of snow and even extending into Kansas and then uh, going a little bit further northward I'm expecting up to 6 to 12 inches of snow from this first snowstorm that could impact you guys as early as Tuesday so you want to pay very close attention to that in the Minnesota area and then of course pay close attention to a potential of a major snowstorm next week but I thank you guys for watching